And welcome back to another episode of Reseteer with me, Henry. So, we're back. We're gonna go this way. Like what we were gonna do yesterday. We're gonna take Gluey, a brave but poor adventure. E balanced and easy to control. Uses sword, shields, and armor. And we're gonna give him some bread. That we bought. Now what? Okay. So this is a dungeon? Just so welcome to the jungle, as they say. Oh god, we're in Cincinnati! You know, the bangles. You know, aren't we just going to hold Louie back here? I mean, I'm not a monster slayer. I'm scared. The two of us are completely safe. There's a protective field around the two of us. To the monsters, we may as be invisible. Really? That's awesome. So Louie is particularly safe then too, right? Or not quite. Oh, why not? While in the field, we do not need to worry about the monsters, but this is accomplished by making us virtually intangible, entangable to everything inside this place. We cannot directly manipulate nothing. Oh, wait, we cannot collect things? Why are we even here then? That's why our adventure remains outside the field. Oh, I see. So he picks up stuff for us. Should our adventurer be injured, we can place him in the field and retreat, since we have to carry him back. However, we can take very little else with us. One item at most. So even if we run into trouble, we don't lose everything. But wait, I thought... You said we can't. Yes, I will elaborate further if need be later. Naturally, if we get out of safety, if we get out safely, we can bring as much of as our bags will allow us to carry. Cool. Wait, as much as our, ba our bags will allow? Well, our bags are not bottomless. Ugh. If we run out of space, it will be up to us to decide what to keep or discard. So the adventurer focuses on the adventurer while we tr keep track of what loot he should keep. I guess that makes sense. K.O., let's get to it then. Yes, I guess. Alright, so we're in the game, finally! <laughs> All right, it seems like we're playing Ragnarok online. Come on, you! I'll beat the shit out of you! <laughs> oh no! Blue slimes! They look so dangerous. <clears throat> beat the shit out of you. Give me your orbs. I don't know if that's money or picks. <laughs> beat the crap out of him. Meet Louie, our newest adventurer. And he's gonna keep us from losing our house. Oh no, something happened. I don't know what that means. I assume bad. Well, this is not that, that very complicated. I like it. It's easy, you can just push the button. We have health and SP. I don't know what SP is, but we'll figure it out. And there's a map, I see. So we'll kind of go this way. We haven't gotten any treasure yet. Come here, you! Beat the shit out of you! Ingredient! No, no. 
Let's explore the rest of this. So that's the exit. X. Uh oh! So yeah, we're beating the shit out of things. <laughs> so uh, we don't get kicked out of our little house. So how is everyone doing today, guys? Hopefully good. Hey, we gained the level. I didn't even notice. We're level three now. That's good. Come here, you. Beat the shit out of you. Yay, we found something. A wooden chess piece. Hopefully that's good. And worth money. Somehow we have to make 10,000 bucks. Oh no, we got hit. We got an apple this time. Did we do everything? Yeah, we did. Alright, so we can leave this floor. And proceed to the next one. I'm assuming this game gets harder, because right now it's pretty damn easy. Ikimasu! Bake this shit. Take my Iki Muscle! <laughs> Iki Muscle. Ugh. Come here, you! We got some slime fluid. There's the exit. Ah, oh, crap. Oh no, rocks! I'm being sloppy now. I'm just getting hit left and right. My icky muscle isn't working. Icky muscle. I'm kind of like just following this map here. Just going everywhere we can go. It's a nice little map, which is nice, you know? It's not complicated or... I don't know what those little crystals do. Ingredients! Die, you! Tree seed necklace. Don't know what that is. Whoops. How do we look at our items? Or use items? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Ooh. That's worth 300 bucks. It's worth more than a sword. An apple costs more than a sword. That's funny. Oh, wow. 800 bucks! Baby! Eh. Alright. We're learning the controls. We got... Icky muscle! Oh, new enemy! Ooh, a sword! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We got long sword. Unthankful statue. I don't know what that means. Hopefully it's good. We are poor. Wow, though. They just want me to go up and go up and go up. Feel it. 
I'm assuming that red bars are level. You know, the yeah. little... Yeah. It's around our character window. This reminds me of, like, yeah. games like yeah. Secret of Mana. Ow. Yeah. You little bastard! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that! We get our life back when we level. So it's one of those games. Gotta remember that. Um, I think we're done here. Yeek muscle. Uh oh, new enemy. You know, I'm just gonna avoid picking up the question marks because I don't think we know what those are. We want things like we know what they are because then how would we know what they're worth? We have to earn 10 grand by Monday. Hmm. Up. Oh, nice. Ow! Ah, we got another worn sword. Ha ha! So we can actually block things with our shield. Oh, okay. Hey, come here. Hopefully this game is a little harder. We still haven't used any healing items. Ouch. I just took a lot of damage there. Oh well, we're about to level. Don't matter. Die! See, we're already full. Hmm. Now we gotta drop things, I guess. Like, whatever that is. Wow, that's worth a thousand bucks. That's worth nothing. Can we eat this? I don't know. Hmm. So I guess now we should be a little bit more selective on our loots. Because we don't have money. Item spaces, it looks like. Look at all the healing items we got. <clears throat> the dungeons or at least this part it's a lot better than all that reading that we were doing <laughs> yeah I mean I can understand guys if you want to skip through the first video if if you did basically the story is that we are this girl right here and uh, that fairy we owe a lot of money to uh oh This is... Did I do it? I did it, didn't I? Yeah. I did it! I cleared the Tall of Trials! Oh, sweet mystery of life, now you will give me money! Yeah. Way to go, Louie! Reciteer, tear, this is all thanks to you guys. 
This is all well and good, but the treasure just ahead. It behooves us to investigate thoroughly. Tear, you are really going to like going for money, don't you? What? I do not spout such foolishness. <laughs> there is no need to treat me like a flying ball of greed. Well, that's kind of like what you are. You're kind of a bitch. Hey, hey, now. I love me some treasure, too. Don't worry, Tear. I feel you on this. Really, you two completely misunderstand me. I guess this is the final treasure. So, the contents of the chest? Hmm, give me a second here. Hey! Wow, cards. So this is an adventurer guild card. <clears throat> um, here, receipt, take one, like we promised. Huh? Oh yeah, okay. Well, I did promise to give you car your card eventually. We are not so crass as to demand your very first card. You really should think about who you want to give your first. No, I want this. Receipt, I beg you, please take my very first card. I'd love to. Thanks, Louis. Oh, awesome. I can't wait to adventure with you two some more. Mercy. Really now, young people. Wait a minute, how old are you supposed to be? Hey, Tear, that thing just showed up. Ah, uh, yes, that. That is commonly referred to a goho. What? Erm, um, what I'm. What am I? A door of return, I mean. If you enter that door, you can return to town in an instant. This one has appeared because we have cleared the dungeon. But there are often ex encountered during normal explorations, too. I believe they appear roughly every five levels or so. But wait. If we take this back to town, we're only halfway in. Don't we have to start at the very beginning again? Not at all. You can always head back to a floor that had a door on it. In fact... You do not have to use a door. You do have to restart. So if we find a door, we should always use it? Almost always. If we need to rest or unload, then we should use the door. But remember though, returning home takes time. Furthermore, leaving and a contract with our companion. And we will have to rehire him or choose a new one. Is there something specific in a dungeon that you desire? You can simply ignore the doors and press onward. Alrighty, then I need to think we should go home now. Quite so. Oh, just be sure in the future. Um, please try to avoid referring this as going home, yes? Okay. So it's like the Matrix, I guess. Um. Okay. That was easy. What does this mean? Okay. So do we like split the loot? How does this work? I don't know. <clears throat> they got mad at me because we went treasure hunting. Dude! Okay. Ooh, let's put our long swords up. And, uh. This, I guess? 
Um, that? I guess. Yeah, we're gonna go and take Louie back out because it's kind of short. I think we can. Ah, of course. I guess we'll go shopping or whatever. Open the store up. I wanted to go back to the dungeon. It was fun. Okay. We're gonna sell some things. Hey, there's Louie! Oh, I wanted someone else to buy that. We sold the sword. Um, okay, Louie. <laughs> Have that. Oh, yeah, I forgot he's poor. <laughs> Louie, you poor bastard. I wonder what the old man's gonna do with this sword. <sighs> He's gonna go on a killing spree. So let's sell our apple. Um, that's all we got really to sell. I guess we can go to the merchant place and buy some more stuff. Hmm. We do have that already. I'm trying to buy things that our guy might need. Maybe he'll actually buy them. Do we have enough for this? Barely. Alright. Man, it takes a while for this game to load. For such a small game. Ooh, iron armor. How about a warrior helm? And a common shield. Yeah, there we go. There. We're gonna make some money, honey. Um, I think we'll cut Louie a discount because he's your bro. How about that? His wife, eh? Come on! It's not that much! You freaking jerk! People are always asking me how much I should sell. <laughs> Why would he need a warrior's helmet? He's old! I think we're getting the hang of this game. Need to help the old pension, you see? What can I get for this? Um... How about that? Everyone seems not like to spend more than 122%. At least now, anyways. <clears throat> 
Uh, not you again. Uh, how about that? <laughs> Yay, we sold the walnut bread. Well, you seem more or less used to running the basics of running an item shop. Hee <laughs> hee, you think so? There is one other matter, however. You cannot always be certain that a customer will know what they want when they come in. What do you mean? They may come in thinking, what should I make for dinner? What would be a good weapon? And so forth. They will not be quite sure what exactly they wish to purchase when they come through the door. In, in such a case, we must provide them with advice to help them decide. Oh god. <laughs> now what do I have to learn? Wait, how do I do? Many customers will simply give up if they f do not find suitable for their needs on the counters. Others, however, will realize that we may have a reserve stock and will inquire as whether we have what we seek, something that they seek. This is when we, you may suggest an item that you think that they would like. In a sense, it is the ultimate change to show your skill as an item shopkeeper. If you know what someone desires, you will be very likely to impress them and cause them to return. Yeek, no pressure then. None at all! Well, let's give it a little practice, shall we? It's no different than a normal sale, really, beyond the fact that you must choose the item to sell yourself. Let us begin. KK. Welcome. I'd like a sword, please. So anything is okay as long as it's a sword? Ultimately, you must pick something that the person would like. By the way, if I may give you a little advice, if you sell weapons and armor to a, your first to your adventurer friends, they will equip the items you sell them. Meaning, of course, that if you sell items to them, then we do not need to lend them any items at the start of our dungeon excursion. And we'll be able to bring back more items for our own use. Um, even if the adventurer must retreat while in a dungeon. This establish this equipment is not lost since it is in their possession. So equipment so selling better equipment to our adventuring friends is a good idea, even if you must undersell to them a little. Accessories work the same way, so think carefully about who you sell what to and what effect it may have on their performance. Whoa, I hope I can keep all this all track. I kind of figured that. If you look at the details of the item when selling to one of our adventuring friends, you can also check that the person that person currently has. Now then, should we continue? That word. I'm not going to even try. <laughs> yes, excellent. The rest of the sale... Okay. Uh. Hello, welcome to Reseteer. I would like a weapon, however. However, what? Well, for you? How about that? Yay, I sold the steel sword for that much. Precisely done. Once more, then. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I can figure out some things on my own game. Hello? However... 
Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Do we have anything to sell? Oh yeah, our beef bowl of mystery. Um. I've been thinking about getting one of these for a while now. Have you? It just goes right to your thighs. Uh, how about that? There's Louie. We need to sell him something good. So this, do you think I could turn this into a bit of coin? I need money for my drug habits. Yeah, sure. Hmm, how about... 66%? Ooh, we can get... We got away with that. Maybe 70% is too high. What are you going to want a chestnut for? As a housewife in charge of the family finances, I can't back down here. Okay. You know what? Doesn't matter. It's 20 bucks. <laughs> Whatever. Get out of here. Can I get this? Um, yeah, I guess you can, can't you? It's really not that complicated. Oh, we have food, but it's... Okay, what should we sell him? How about this? Um... How about that? Oh, come on, bro. Oh, no! <laughs> I screwed up on that sale. Whatever, game. <sighs> oh, we can go to the Adventuring Guild. Let's buy a sword for... Ah. What else can we buy? Let's take Louie back out. That was fun. Um, well, I'm gonna go with less food this time because I don't think we need it. I guess this is a new zone. The Jade Way. Alright, let's see what this one's like. Yes. Uh oh. New ma new guys. We got a mushroom monsters. Oh, we fought the slime before. They're easy. Snowflakes. It kind of makes you slide around. Do 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 do. We. Come here. Ow. Jerk. I didn't mean to pick that up. 
Ooh, we got some egg toast, baby. Come here, you. I killed a bee. I'm such a monster. All right. I don't know what that means. Maybe I should be picking up them question marks, but... Oh, oh okay. I think it's like magic points. Can I equip that? Sweet. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Jerk. I don't want that. That's worth nothing. Uh oh. The game was all glitchy there. Oh wow, well, now you can kill things in one hit. That's useful. Well, you can kill some things in one hit. Icky muscle! Ooh, we got a wooden bow. Come on, I want something worth a lot of money. Not a wooden bow. Where's the magic? Or... I don't know, gold. At least silver. <clears throat> Let's go up here and explore that last little area. Yeah. Come here, mushroom. That is. Do 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 do. We're on level four, so I wonder how many levels there are. Now <laughs> we might have to use a healing item because of my bad playing. Aki muscle. <clears throat> Take that, B. wooden bow. I hope we have enough money. Ugh. Come here, you. <laughs> now are you gonna jump too? Jerk. 
いきまそうあ、ウィレベルスウィー We got our health back So I don't have to use a healing item That's good Oh, run! <laughs> Damn toad. A <laughs> water shroom. Let's get high on the water shroom. Uh oh. I'm assuming that's bad. Take that B. <laughs> It reminds me of like the bad voice acting in the Japanese version of Metal Gear. You guys ever see that? It's funny. It's really funny actually. If you're a Metal Gear fan, you gotta watch it. It's just Metal Gear just isn't a really good Japanese game, you know? I mean, like, the voice act, like, what's that guy's name? Oh, crap! King Slime! What? <laughs> He's getting smaller. Take that! I'm assuming I gotta keep this thing killed to damage it. How do I figure it Ow! Why else would it be here? Ow. How do I heal? Oh, yeah. We ate some walnut bread. We won. Um, we're going to keep going. <laughs> Icky muscle. That was easy. I've been playing game for a long time, game. You're gonna have to do better than that. To stump the Trump. But yeah, like I was saying about Metal Gear, man. It's just those Japanese voice actors. It's just. I don't know. It made me laugh. I watched it once. Ooh, we got a chocolate bar. How much health does that heal? Doesn't say. No, I don't know. I'm assuming more than the bread. What'd that do? We're in a different part of the map. That first boss was pretty dang easy. We beat the crap out of him. Oh. Ooh, we need some more bread. Yeah, screw him. I like Louie. He's not that bad. You know, makes the game nice and simple. <laughs> I don't like a hard game. I like a game where I can figure things out pretty quick. 
but doesn't mean I don't like complexity in my game. Ugh. Like, I was playing uh, Fallout 4, and I'm a huge Fallout fan, if you guys don't know. And they made the game a lot easier, I guess, They're trying to appeal to the casual market. And Fallout 4 is never really about casual people. I don't know. They, they changed it to where it's, like, easier now. And I don't like that. But that's just me complaining about things I have no control over. Iki muscles? Oh! Oh no! We got cherry plus two. Uh oh. Die, B! I told you, die. Ooh, healing potion. Or maybe not. It looked like a healing potion. Uh oh. At least from me at my perspective. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just wish in Fallout they didn't take away, like, item durability loss. I mean, I like fixing my guns and making bullets and things like that. It made the game a lot more... I don't know. I liked it. I just liked creating my own bullets in Fallout New Vegas. So hopefully, you know, with the expansion or whatever, they fix all those problems that they had. In the new Fallout. <clears throat> they took away a lot of the crafting stuff. I don't know if you guys know this, but they took away the Nuka Grenade. You used to be able to craft that. In uh, Fallout 3, now they... In Fallout 4, you can't even craft a Nuka Grenade. Come on, you. So it's like... What the hell, man? You're dumbing down my game for them damn filthy cats! Casual gamers, you know? <laughs> them damn filthy casuals. It's starting to feel like a Bioshock game or... or what's that other game? Uh, Mass Effect. God, don't get me started on that piece of crap game. <laughs> Ooh, teriyaki. I need some more bread. Hmm. We gotta drop some things. Alright. <clears throat> Okay, so I guess that's healing. That's SP or whatever. Oh, okay. That actually tells you. Okay. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. We bought that. That's worth the... Uh... <laughs> Ooh, look! We can switch our little thingy. I just noticed that we got that. Let's see what this one does. Four slash! Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. You made a fool's error going against the Dark Knight. I am Batman. Uh oh. 
Took that B. You know, if you're gonna hop around, I'm not gonna even bother chasing you. I'll just kill something else and move on. You too. Oh, we're already out of SP. Stupid mushroom. Get out of my way! He chases me, yet when I go to fight him, he turns around. What heals is the magic or whatever? That's health. That's health. We don't need that. We'll use this. Because in my opinion, health is always more important than magic. Because we can't heal ourselves with magic. But we can heal ourselves with health. Um, ninth floor. We leveled. Our guy's getting strong now. He's level 11. Nah. Get out of here. Ooh, neat. Just drop a bunch of junk. Let's use this. Let's throw this. Ah, you know. Why can't we just give him what we got? Um. I don't know what to throw away, really. All right. Well, whatever. All that for a wooden helmet. No! Damn these rocks, man. Oh, I thought we got a sword. Hoping we get a new sword for a guy. Way. Let's go ahead and clear out our inventory. Anything that's less than 400, we're gonna go get rid of, I guess. Unless it's healing item. Like, we don't need this. Or this. Or this. Or whatever that is. Or that. Watch me just throw away, like, all that stuff and we actually do need it. Come on, game. Stupid mushroom. This game does kind of remind me of Ragnarok Online. 
Oh god. Um Ow. Ow. I guess we kill the red ones and yeah, okay. Kill the red ones because that heals me. Okay. I figured this guy out. Eat that one, buddy. It's good for you. Huh. Maybe not. I don't know. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, we hit him with a back attack. Stupid rat of danger. Oh, I wanted that. Come on, dude. No! Man, all these fights are technical. I hate technical fights. You know what I mean? I hate technical fights. But at least it's easy. Fallout 4 does, or not Fallout 4, you know what game was doing technical fights? That Wolfenstein game, and I hate that. No. Ugh. We're almost killed, you rat. You dirty rat. Alright, come on. Eat this. I died. We're continuing. We got charred lizard. Let's heal. Alright. But yeah, we beat the crap out of him. That looks expensive, maybe. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, new enemies! Well, they're not very hard. Water crystal. Let's see what we got. Ooh! Ooh! Wait, what? We got some money. Look at this. We got a this. How do I look at items? I forget. Oh, treasure. Ingredient. Health. SP. SP. God, this is so confusing. We don't need this. What confuses me about this game is I don't know, or I always gotta, seems like I always have to keep looking and I'm seeing what we need, what we don't need. And that's kind of annoying. Ow! Dirty bee. Bastard. Ooh, we got parade armor. That's good. I wonder how many levels there are of this dungeon. 
Stupid bunny. Come here. I hate the snowflakes. It makes you go everywhere. Nah, screw them. It's too much. It's too much work going after one guy. Iki muscle. It looks like there's a boss fight after every three levels or whatever. And I didn't mean to pick that up. They get a lot of experience in bugs. I like the knights. They're easy. No! Slimes! I'm just kind of being a little wasteful because we can be. Um. Wait. Whatever. I thought the other one healed um magic power, but doesn't. Stupid rabbit. Now where are you gonna hop to, you damn rabbit bastard? You're gonna hop to hell. Oh no! Not the snow! I need my fine controls. I'm slipping and sliding. Like Nancy Kerrigan. What I wonder what happened to her. And the other one. What was her name? The one that got her boyfriend to hit her in the legs or whatever. Crazy. Wizard robe! <clears throat> yeah, we're done in here, I guess, so let's just leave. So we already got one item that's worth ten grand, baby! <laughs> Oh, our icky muscle. I don't want that. Uh. It just makes it hard to attack. Uh. Oh, whatever. Oh, I should be a little bit more careful. We just took a lot of damage there. Because that stupid slide. Alright, there's something in there. We want it. Come here, you. Yeah. 
Oh, we need that. Hold on. I always forget what button does what in this. <laughs> Alright. forgot this item over right here. Practice lands. I wonder what the plus one means. Uh oh, more knights. Of easy. Let's go and explore that left path, and then we'll be done, I guess. <laughs> Our hero seems to be leveling up pretty good. Or I guess, Louie, if you want to call him a hero, I do. He's like the cheap version of Luke, or not Luke, what's that guy's name? Link! <laughs> oh, I call him Luke. Ugh. Leather armor, baby. Yeah, screw you. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. exit so we probably should try to level at least once before we go in there <coughs> Ooh, there's some candy rest of here want some candy Warren sword and just let him have the other one, but I guess we can't do that. The only reason why I'm keeping this is because we got that from the boss. It might come in handy later. That's food. That's not. That's food. Food. What else should we throw away? I don't know. I guess let's throw away one of these. I just want to get some items. Candy? Ooh. Excuse me. I wish we had a bigger inventory. <laughs> we got a pot stand. Oh, yeah. 
Ow! <laughs> Jerk. Let's go down. <sighs> I know this is just the first level and or, or dungeon, but hopefully it gets a little bit tougher than this. <laughs> Wiki muscle! Oh. Get away from me, rabbit! Oh, I thought I killed that thing. Did now! Oh, yeah. I don't know why it keeps changing. I like this one better. Shoots my force laser. I'm gonna screw you, rabbit. What's that? I want it. it looks like a pile of money. Nut mix. <sighs> Whatever. It's about the same price. Oh no. We got squiggly lines. Alright, hold on. If I can ever remember the controls. Where's that stupid bread? What's this do? How do I look? Okay, that's what I want to know. I want that. There we go. Man, I'm going the wrong way. Oh well. Boss time, baby! <clears throat> so this is the lowest floor of the dungeon tier? Not precisely. While we cannot proceed any further, I strongly suspect that we can go even deeper in next time. Wait, huh? Why is that? The dungeons change shape every time someone enters them. Some theorize that they adapt to the strength of those who enter and refer to it as a living dungeon phenomenon. The truth of the matter is unclear, however. Uh, okay. I wonder if the dungeon gets bored if it's alone. <laughs> so that would make pe that people who are foolish enough to enter a place like this the playthings of the underworld. Heh, <laughs> I see. I like the way you think, girl. <laughs> Who's there? 
I don't know. Another evening. Name's Charm. The Lady Thief. Thief? So, your treasures, valuables, and assorted shiny bits. I'll be taking them, if you please. We won't let you! Sigh. Always the way. Well then, if that's the case, it's time to cut some fools. Oh, crap! Oh, yeah? Easy. Come on! Come on! I'm gonna beat your ass! Ow! <clears throat> okay, hold on. <laughs> we gotta heal up. Can we equip this? No. Alright. Let's use our crappy heal. And let's use that one. We're gonna get hit. Ow! Ow! Take that! Come on! Ow! Bitch! Alright, we're getting our ass kicked. I hope we got enough heals. That's not heal, that's heal. That's a heal. That's not a heal. What about this? Oh, that's a heal. Alright, so let's use this. And do better now. Take that! What the hell are these? I should have kept hitting her while she's in the corner. Oh, the game only lets me hit her twice. So we got. Yeah, we got her. We got her. She's only got 50 left. We got her. Ow, bitch. Oh, I had her. Yes. Take that, thief. Friggin' fraggin' ow. Eh, I'm losing my touch. Getting beat like that. Uh, miss, are you okay? Uh, I'm mortally wounded. I can, I see, the far shore. No, I am. I'm kidding, girl. Really, if you get this worried about every Burke who tries to slit your throat and take your... liqueur? Oh, friggin'. Hey, you are really hurt. Here, take this wound ointment. What the? Did you have that on you this entire time? Eehehe, <laughs> sorry, Tear. You two are a pair of oddballs, you know that? Believe me. She is the only... Believe me, she is the only round, strange object currently present. Please do not assume that both of us are nearly so foolish. Really? Seems like you two make a good pair. Her? Well then, young ladies. I shall scamper since I've been beaten like a mutt. You enjoy your treasure. You earned it. Wait, I'm Rissy, and this is Tear. We have an item shop at the top of the hill in town called Tear. You should stop by. Alright, this is just me intervening, okay? But, why would you go and tell a thief that you have a shop? You know, and that you were selling things. I don't know. That tried to kill you. I should, huh? I'll keep that in mind. See you kids later. Goodbye, Charmé. Merced, giving her the shop location. <laughs> what are you thinking, Reset? Receipt? Whatever. 
The lady thief, huh? <laughs> she was kind of cool. You will forgive me if I do not think the same way. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, are you jealous? Tch! Absolutely not. Who would be jealous of a thief? Yeah. Give me this. <laughs> we got a base. I guess we have to leave now. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. Let's let's look at our loot that we got. We got a long sword. Ooh, look at that. 5,000 bucks for that. Wow, that's worth 21,000 bucks, baby. Let's put that on there. And that. Or <laughs> put her pot stand up. In her water crystal. Oh yeah, in her book. No. I don't know. What else should we sell? I guess. Let's open this door if we can. Gah, you. Hmm, not bad. This is a pretty nice looking place. Dot, dot, dot. You know, it's really so kosher for an employee to give a customer a face like that. I thought a smile was the basis for customer satisfaction. Oh, for a normal customer, that is completely true. But you are a thief, and I despise you. For someone who openly attempted to murder us, however, this is the only face I have to show. Hmm. Well, it looks like she's got a different idea. Yay, Charmé, welcome. I'm so glad you came. That just sounds wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I kept wondering about this place. Nice store you have here, Reset. Ah, oh, thank you. Make yourself at home, okay? Receipt. See? I see all too clearly. Thank you. <laughs> that receipt's a good girl. Nice, trusting, honest. Don't you agree, Tear? Of course I do. You do not need to tell me that. Haha. <laughs> Knew these two would be fun. Let's steal from them. Hi there. Could I get this? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. It's not what I'm trying to sell, baby. Um... How much are we selling that for? Well, you did try to kill us. How about that? <clears throat> Come on, Louie. Buy a sword, baby. Where'd that sword I put up? I knew she would steal something from me. That dirty bitch. <coughs> we sold the water crystal. I know we have one. Oh, 
Um, I try to go around 120. Usually people don't complain. I'm tired. Where'd my sword go? I know she stole it. Now look at there's a slime fluid here. Oh, maybe she didn't steal it. Let's put this crafter's knife there, yeah. Practice lands. Uh, wizard robe. Uh, yeah, I guess. We got tons of things to sell. We should probably go and buy some things. Things for Louie. Let's see if we can buy anything for Louie. Ah, oh, no, we can't. We're out of stock. <clears throat> I ain't buying anything unless I can get some money for it. It doesn't feel like it's not even worth it half the time. Alright. When do we have to pay back our loan? On the 8th. I wonder if it's due at the morning of the 8th or at the evening of the 8th. I assume morning. Let's open the store. Welcome. Yay! Wait, did we buy that? I hope we didn't buy that. <laughs> oh, we bought that! That's Louis' sword! Damn it. Oh well. Oh, come on, old man. Oh, that'll do, I suppose. No, it's not. <laughs> this is for sale, right? No, I just put it in the window. Buy this one. <clears throat> hmm. Let's try 122. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, you jerk. one and I don't think you can afford it. Uh, how about that? Get out of here, little girl. I don't like you. You suck as a customer. <laughs> um. Whatever. I just bought this off of you. <laughs>
I hope we have some food. Oh, uh, yeah, we do. Um, hmm. What should we sell to Grandpa? Something. Yay, we actually made money. <clears throat> food, food, food. Hello, ma'am. You look like you need, um, some nut mix. Yay! We sold it for money. Burr! At night, this place plaza is qu so quiet. It's almost scary. Indeed, it would be best to rehome quickly. This is a dangerous time for a girl to be wandering about. Right. A cute girl like me could end up in all kinds of peril. I do not recall anything about you being cute. <laughs> e hee hee. Well, don't sweat the small stuff. Come on, homeward ho. Hey, what are you kids doing out this late? Oh, heavens, a hoodlum. Who is there? Show yourself. Calm down, you two. It's me. No need for alarm. Thank goodness. I was about to call a... Uh... What? A Jeanne Marie! Must be another French word. With the appearance like him, that is not unreasonable. Now that's just cruel. Ooh! Steel sword. Let's buy a couple of these. Um. Let's buy a shell armor, I guess. We probably shouldn't buy too much. Because we gotta get through and give her her cut tomorrow. Or the next day. <clears throat> yeah, but I have to have enough money to, uh, you know. make her money now. Oh, this guy forgets that I just bought this off of him. Come on, Louie, buy something. What do you want, Louie? I know you're looking at stuff. Oh god, not the little girl. <sighs> um... Go away now. A treasure, you say, Grandpa? I hope you can afford it, old man.
Then why would you ask for that? Uh. All right, fine. How about a cheap treasure? Because you're cheap. Oh, God, old man. Thank God. Let's give him this weapon. You got 33%? Yeah! We cut Louie a deal! We see, that's what we do. We help out our friends and we screw everyone else over. That's the name of this game. And Louie's the only one that gets deals from me. Everyone else can go to hell. Alright. Let's put our beef bowl of mystery. And let's take this off because I don't even think people can afford it. Seems pointless to have it on there. <clears throat> Mommy asked to sell this. Alright. I'll give you that much. Get out of here, little girl. <clears throat> What's the heart mean? What's near... Okay. I was just looking at the little side. I wonder what near prim means. Food you want, eh? How about some candy apple? Oh. It's alright. We'll go with 100%. Because I like you. Mmm, <laughs> we'll give you 47%. We need to buy stuff for Louis. No. Louis can use this. Louis can use that. Louis can use paradise armor. Let's buy some that. Ooh. Alright, stop buying stuff. And go back. No, no, no. We were trying to buy, put the shield here. Food you want, eh? <laughs> food you want, my friend? Yes, I will give you some food. Well... Louis are buds, so we gotta hook them up. Everyone else can go to hell. You know? <laughs> so this thing here got uh, donated to me by a rich old man. Problem is, he kind of wants it back. How much will you take for it? Wait. She wants me to buy her cherry. Right? I don't know. Mm. 
Gotta stay at 10,000. Customer service to be lost in art these days. God, lady. You can just imagine people complaining at Kroger, you know, about their food bill. A weapon, you say. Merry Christmas! All right, so we're almost done with week one, baby. Good morning, Receipt. Good morning. Incidentally, you are aware that today is the first day of collections, yes? Yes, I am aware. Er, wait. As in pay up or we take in your house collections. Dot, dot, dot. Yes. Oh, uh, let's see. I have a calendar that I can check when I'm on break, don't I? Or in the main menu, you say. Yes, we know about this. Bill is at due at the end of the day. <clears throat> I guess we'll put that up. God, I hate this little girl. <laughs> Go away. <coughs> little girl never spies anything. Didn't you just sell me a beef bowl? I think the old man sold me one. Alright. How much? For you? It's that much. Right then, get this sorted, please. Where's Louie? <sighs> Get out of here, you poor... Oh my god. <clears throat> what a jerk. Stock on everything, really. All right, let's stop buying things. Ooh. We'll buy a few more things. <clears throat> is annoying.
whatever. We'll buy it. Get out of here, tear. Trying to move my treasure because people are too poor to afford it. At least that's what it seems like. Do we have a hat? <laughs> when his grandmother died, she left him a candy bar. Buy more stuff. Here you go, Gramps. Wow, he wants the whole damn set. Louis, but whatever. Fine. Maybe we can lure Louie in with a beef bowl. Because I want to go back to the dungeon. But we are getting our, our butt kicked by the last boss, so... I hope we get some better stuff. There's Louie. Yes, you may purchase that. Yeah, Louie, Louie. Have this. <coughs> I give him the bro discount. You're kind of a bitch, so I try to go ahead and get as much money out of you as I can. Treasure, eh? How about this? It ain't worth much, so I don't even charge much on that one. I just use it for my merchant level. Yay! We paid our money! <laughs> we get a little party and we get a little confetti thrown down. I wonder how much we owe next week. Congratulations, well done. I have officially received your payment for this week. Let us continue to work hard next week as well. Yay, I did it. I'm counting on you next week too, Tyr. And Louie. Huh? 
Mm-hmm, so this is it. That instant little plebeian shop, which is the focus of so much rumor. My, my, it's so common, so dirty, so dull. How does that little plole, prole get people to come in, I wonder? Well, no meta. This is the po perfect opportunity to show that little shrew and that whole city what a truly elegant shop is like. <laughs> is she my, like, arch nemesis or evil person? <laughs> Cause she's got her own fairy. Oh, you know, you don't own that store yet, right? It belongs to your parents. <laughs> Silence, you insolent fairy. It will be mine eventually. That's practically the same thing. Oh, little shop reciteer. Your days are numbered. <laughs> what a bitch. And I told you to address me as young mistress. I want to know how much money we owe. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, but... I guess we gotta do this. Get out of the box! <laughs> oh ho ho. My genius astounds even me sometimes. I played Metal Gear and thought it would work in real life. The best way to learn about your foe is direct infiltration, after all. And with strategic espionage ability such as this, I cannot fail. That's another Metal Gear reference. Um. Hmm. The interior decoration has a seedy and plebeian as the outside. Which means their selection of items must be up. Must be. Abstanding. Abstain. God, I feel dumb right now. I can't remember how to pronounce that word. <laughs> what could it be? What sort of thing could that filthy little pro sell? Perhaps some kind of black and white animal? Like a skunk? That violates which violates international treaties, perhaps the most delicious apples this side of Mer de Blanc. Perhaps one of those books father says I'm too young to read. Uh Oh be quiet, whoever you are. You are interrupting my train of thought. Ah. Uh. Could you come out of the box, maybe, at least? It's kind of weird on the floor here. But that means... Uh... Well then... <clears throat> and honestly, I shouldn't be surprised by this. I shall... I should have expected a foe as canny as you to break through otherwise imprenably stealth techniques. Metal Gear! <laughs> okay. This confirms it. You are indeed of worthy of being my rival. <laughs> rival? Oh, I have failed to introduce myself, of course. I am the owner of the monolithic item store chain Big Bash. Well, to be specific, I am the owner's only child and inheritor. Alouette is my name. Remember it. Everyone around me calls me Young Mistress Alouette. But you are my rival shall have that privilege of calling me Lady Alouette. Uh, Big Bash? It is a massive store change with a capital stock value of 15 billion picks and a yearly gross profits of 500 billion. Oh dear. <coughs> I heard the commotion and came to see what was happening, but why are the two of you discussing Big Bash? 
Uh, I'm not really sure. Interesting. You have a fi also have a fairy, huh? Prime. Yeah, what's up? Why do all the fairies talk out of their belly buttons? I've noticed that. Maybe that's where their mouths are. Oh, young mistress, I see you have tempted to infiltrations failed. What are you talking about? Their superior detection ability simply caught me off guard and overwhelmed the cardboard. My cardboard, that's all. That's a fairy. You can't say that. It's unacceptable PC. Dang. This one is sure sharp. You sure you got a kid? Wait, you got a problem with that kid? I mean, you hang out with one, too. So what's the big deal? <laughs> Call me Prime, you said. You could say I'm Miss Al the gar mistress's guardian oh well I'm Rest's Hit and this is Tear nice to meet you mmm yeah well it's a real pleasure to meet you too bookworm <laughs> eh are you referring to me by chance <laughs> fish like there's anyone else here to call that well, the pleasure is all mine then. All right, mistresses, we've introduced ourselves. So how about we head home now? What are you talking about? I haven't introduced half of the. I haven't finished introducing half of the fan amazing, incredible. That is Alouette, inheritor of Big Bad. Shish! If we stick around for all that, we'll be here all week. <clears throat> Come on now, we're going home. Reset and lesson well. Enjoy your happy, carefree days as long as you can. For when I am through with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you guys around. So, uh... What do you think that was all about? That was not dissimilar to meeting a hurricane in human form. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and save it here. <clears throat> um, we did a lot. We got through week one, did the first dungeon, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut the video. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you are enjoying this. Please let me know. If not, tell me it sucks. <laughs> I like opinions. That would be nice. Thanks. Thanks for watching. And we will have more later. Bye.